Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to not get attacked by the Wi-Fi pineapple and what to watch out for. First of all, most importantly, one of the most important things is what wireless uh, network you're connecting to. A lot of times it'll say limited internet access and, or no internet access. I would be careful if it would say that, but sometimes it isn't malicious. A lot of cafes and hotels point all web pages to a landing page before you can get full internet access because they don't want everybody getting free internet access. They want um, only authorized people to that have paid to go in a motel. Usually there'll be a card in the motel that'll have a secret code of the day and cafes will give you a code for a certain amount of time if you've paid. So the second thing to look at would be the actual web page and URL box. So we're going to head to gmail.com and you can see most web pages will not have a forward slash gmail.html. I mean that isn't always the case or like forward slash unless you actually typed in forward slash something to go to a certain page or whatever on the website but usually if you go to the main website it won't show a forward slash and the um, main page of the website and another thing too is if you see gmail just staying up there that isn't actually the um, login page for Google Gmail. It actually Gmail forwards to accounts.google.com I believe. So that's another thing to watch out for too. And another thing you can look at is if we go to Instagram that I created. A lot of times phishing pages will be badly coded and misconfigured or whatever and a lot of times you'll see links and a lot of things don't work and a lot of the UI has changed sometimes that isn't malicious or bad a lot of websites change their design but that's another thing to look at I would be uh, that would be another warning sign when links don't work and you kinda notice that they're pictures and one of the last things to check out is what the IP address is pointing to so open up your command prompt and ping for um, Instagram and if you know beforehand you would have to type this in on a clean computer but a lot of times IP addresses change but you can just tell in here 172.16.42.1 is not Instagram.com that's an internal IP address and that is not an external one for normally for the website same thing if we do for Gmail you can see there again that's the pineapples IP address that's another uh, tip I would look at as looking as a whole. There's not just one thing to protect yourself. You need to be proactive in what wireless network you're connecting to, what the web pages actually look like, and where the IP addresses are going. IP addresses are going. So that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you later. Bye.